Father of the Year. <laughs> Yo, peoples, Kyushu92 here with yet another One Piece chapter reaction and review. Welcome to the final month of 2017. The final month of which we get the, uh, well, One Piece in the year of Sanji. So, let's get on with it. Chapter 887, Somewhere Someone is Waiting, it, Someone is Wishing for Your Happiness. And who do we have on the front page? We have Live the Emotions of Kabuki. The complete archives of Super Kabuki 2, One Piece of Grand World are on sale now. Check out our interview with Enosuke Ichikawa. Dropping in on the lives of the Straw Hat Grand Pirate Fleet, Fleet Volume 20, Ideo Arc, Kiss and Make Up or Kill Each Other. I don't care anymore. So, it looks like Ideo and Bluegill... Uh, with their makeshift ship have left the the warring long arm and long leg tribe uh, on the island with pretty much what they said kiss and make up or kill each other they don't care anymore all right moving on to the next chapter oh snap and the web pages are loading up faster look at that okay I see you working in my favor today and it slowed down why you do me like this it's all good though. Can't wait to see what happens now because last we saw, well, let's. Oven got shot in the face by Beige with Beige, uh, Beige telling his son Pez that this is how your daddy lives. All right, will they manage to escape Kako Island? Lord Oven has been shot by Beige. They're done for. Beige, you're completely surrounded. Hold on, let me expand this page a little bit so I can get a good and better view. Yes, here we go. We've closed off the sea and the land too. Give it up. Get off of your ship. Do you choose to do you choose to fight? Very well. I shall carry out your execution myself. What should we do, sister? Our ship can't leave the harbor anymore. And Sanji's just on looking right now. So you were carrying the cake on your ship, but oh but Oven just barely managed to catch you, eh, Chiffon? All right, next page. Come on, come on. Oh, it is loading a little bit faster for me. Thank you. Stop your ship, beige. Is this a suicide attack? What the heck is that man thinking? He collided with us. Shoot him down. Out of the way, whippersnappers. This ship, the Nostra Castello, is amphibious. Oh, so his tank ship can actually go underwater. Oh, what? Well, not amphibious. It's am What it means is amphibious is it can not only go on water, but it can go on land. Think back to, I want to say, whose ship was it? Was it Squard's ship during the Marine Fort War that had tank, that had treads on it that allowed it to be on land? This has official tank treads on it, and it allows it to go on land as well. Its paddles turned into tank treads! And everyone's screaming, trying to get out of the way. I've never even heard of such a trick. Like, seriously, you've been with Big Mom this long, Oven, and you never thought that a ship with tank treads could be a thing? FIRE! I'm trying to wait for this thing to catch up. It doesn't like to load and scroll down at the same time. Cause I never told you about it. Why would I reveal my hand to a bunch of louts I planned on betraying anyway? Chiffon! Pass the cake over to us! Huh? Are you crazy? We could never safely transfer a cake of this size onto such a fast-moving ship! What's gonna happen next? Come on, come on, I gotta know! I gotta know! I wanna know! And then all of a sudden... <laughs> Yo! He just kicks the entire thing onto the ship. All you see is a man with a leg underneath it just kicking it straight into the air. It's so awesome. Come on, let me scroll down the page. Let me scroll down the page. Oh, the carriage is floating. What in the world is going on? Clear the deck, beige. Sanji, dear. She literally just had another nosebleed again. Pudding. 
She cannot get over this man. Think Sanji's found that special woman? Black leg good. Bring it. Who the heck is that? How is he lifting that with one leg? A cook? Clear the deck. And it just lands right on the ship. You're amazing, black leg. We made it. What's this delicious fragrance? Beige, beige. Are you hurt, my wife? Lady Pudding, keep it together. Such are the germa. I'm not the germa. You let him know, Sanji, you ain't with that family no more. Lord Oven, please run! Come, I'll stop you! Like, seriously, he's standing in the way of the Nostra. Nostro. And... He got run over! Did he really get... Did Oven really get run over or just now? We need to head... We need to head for the Southern Seas, Beige. Oh, okay, that's his kid crying. Thank you for... I forget what your name is, but you told me last time that that was just the sound. Because it... Last chapter, I was really confused. I kept seeing Hogaogia, and I was wondering who's making that sound. And someone told me that, that as, that's actually Beige and Chiffon's son, Pez, crying. Or him making baby noises. There, there, Pez. I know. It was noisy, right? We're going to have to crush a few charcoal houses on the way. There's no other way we can make sure all of us get off of this island. And there's rustling. That looks like Pound. I recognize that little bow in the... I recognize that bow tie in the hair anywhere. He's still here. Who even is that guy, a pervert? You sure do look happy. And now, oh, so Pound's smiling at Pez and Pez is uh, laughing. Huh? What's the matter, Pez? Are you going to let them get away? Hold off on the cannons. The cake will be damaged. Battleships head for the southern, southeastern side of the island. And... It literally, and Beige's ship literally just launches off of the harbor into the sea. All right, we made it off Kako Island. Now there aren't any battleships to chase after us. Thanks for that save, Beige. Come on, go to the next chapter. Okay, it wants to scroll off to the side instead of letting me go to where I want to go. Okay, we'll just continue on there. I'm liking this chapter so far. There's so much going on. Going on. It looked like Oven got run over, but now they're in the seas. I didn't do it for you, Black Leg. Hmm? Is it just me, or is it getting hot in here? Fathers! Father! Something weird's with the ocean at all! Huh? The fish are all floating! They've been all... They've been boiled by the heat of the ocean? That's just the right amount of salt. They'd probably be pretty delicious. We're next, idiot! Wait a minute. What is he doing? There's but one person that can do something like this. That can do something like that. Look! Boiling seas. That's oven's heat, heat fruit power. Oh, he's literally boiling the ocean. Boiling seas hell. It's hot! This is bad! The chocolate temperature is going to be affected! And the whipped cream will melt! And I doubt Big Mom will be happy with boiled fish! The heat's destroyed our paddles! Oi oi, are you trying to sink this ship? Lord Evan, have you forgotten just how important this cake is? And now Pez is screaming. What's going on? Oh, wait. Oh, no! Okay, so Pez is still laughing. Da da! What's going on, Pez? Why have you started laughing all of a sudden? And Pound is literally coming up behind Oven with a giant mallet. Lord Oven, look out! Yo, Pound is making his name known! Stop this at once! And he breaks it over his head, and Oven doesn't move. And Pez is still laughing. Who the heck is that? Lord Oven's... Who the heck is that? Lord Oven's en arch enemy? And he takes his hand... Out of, Oven takes his hand out of the water. Father, the temperature of the water is dropping! Run the paddles! We gotta get out of here! Out, we gotta get out of this hot water as fast as we can! Roger! What's about to happen to Pound? What's about to happen to Pound? Huh? 
So you didn't fall into the water, huh? Are you trying to kill your son-in-law? Uh, and he's just staring at him. Quickly, move us out of here. Yes, mother. And Pez is still laughing. My grandson, I know not your name, but are you happy? I'm going to make sure your mommy and daddy take good care of you, okay? Because I couldn't. Oh, snap. So we get to see back when Pound was with Big Mom and Big Mom was still, well, not in her 60s and slightly more attractive. They're born. I'm done with you. Huh? Linlin? Linlin, let me hold them at least once. They're my children. And this is bad. Wow, this is a long time ago. He must have been a king because he has a crown on his head. That was 26 years ago. Chiffon, I'm glad I got to see you. Whoa, what is about to happen? Why is he tightening his tie like that? I'm glad I got to see you, if only once. I get the feeling someone's after you, but you look happy. I'm glad. What's the matter, Pez? It's okay. We'll be out of the hot, hot water soon, son. I was so worried. I'm sure you've had rough days and sad days. And never show me your bloody face. Oh, wow. This is... We're going to flashbacks of when Big Mom pretty much ousted Pound as soon as uh, Shafan and Lola were born. And never show your bloody face again. I'll kill you. I'm sorry I couldn't be by your side then, Shafan. I've nev I'm ever so late, but I still want to say... What is about to happen? The bl and the thing is, Oven literally has like a giant halberd blade coming across his neck while he's saying his, I guess, his final moments. Congratulations on your marriage. We made it out! Let's get away from him now while we still can! Yo. Yo, Pound is dead. Inside Big Mom territory, the Sunny. She never even got to knew her, know her father. Okay, inside uh, Big Mom territory, Big Mom, Jinbei, Nami, Brooke, Chopper, and Carrot. Still wondering why it's significant that there's going to be a full moon or why Carrot referenced that. There you are. Give me that cake. If we stop, we're done for. Keep running. Beige's ship. We've got to get started on the decoration. Hurry, we don't have much time. To stop mom. Chapter 887, end. Okay. 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 A lot of things going on. They managed to get the cake back onto the ship because uh, back on a... Uh, managed to get the cake on Beige's ship so they can escape from Oven, who then uses abilities to heat the seas and make it so that they can't get away. Who then gets intercepted by Pound, who buys them enough time to get out of the hot water to get out to sea, but in the process, Pound is killed by Oven. This is confirmed by a very bloody blade and no sign of oven anywhere. Pretty sure that oven pretty much beheaded Pound. So, Pound is dead. But before he did that, he had final words for both Chiffon and Pez saying that, uh, I'm glad you're happy and uh, congratulations on your marriage. Just giving them his final wishes before he dies. Like, I actually like Pound. Even though he was kind of a, even though he was kind of scared a little bit, he still manned up in order to protect his daughter, whom he never even got to hold when they were born. Because 26 years ago, I want to say, wait, that was 26 years, wow, wait, so Shafan and Lola are 26? They're like a year older than me! What the what? I keep forgetting how old some of these characters are, but that was 26 years ago. And Big Mom didn't even let them let Pound hold them when they were born, so Pound pretty much missed out on that. And she pretty much ousted him and said that don't 
you disgust me, get out of my sight, I'll kill you. So, Pound pretty much, I guess, just dwelled in the seducing woods all that time. But, he still buys enough time for them all to get away. Sanji, on the other hand, Sanji coming in with them clutch kicks. They had no way to get the cake onto the ship, but with one swift kick, he launches not only the carriage, but the cake right onto the bow of the ship. With, you know, pudding acting accordingly. Hearts, eyes... Blood spewing out. It was just, uh, it was good. Sanji, this is the year of Sanji. I can't believe we're in the final month for One Piece of 2017. It just feels like, it feels like last year when I was, feels like last year when I first started doing these reviews and reactions. It was, wow, was, I can't believe it's been that long. At least for me. I've been doing this for about a year, but I've been enjoying it so far. The year of Sanji! Oh boy, we have a long way to go. Well, we still got a couple more weeks of December. I mean, this is the first of December today. So, we still have a ways to go before One Piece is done this year. So, hopefully we won't have too many breaks this month. But if we do, it's fine. So, hope you all enjoyed this review. I thought this was a good chapter. It just got things moving. And now we're back with Big Mom has caught up to the Sunny. She's face to face with them now, and from what I understand, she has a, like a battalion of ships right behind her, and I wonder what's going to happen now, because apparently Sanji's starting to, Sanji and the rest of them are trying to move in so they can catch up to the rest of the crew. I'm still wondering, what is the significance of Carrot saying it's going to be a full moon out tonight? I've been wondering about this for a while. What happens to Minx during a full moon? Do they go feral or something? Do they get like an otherworldly power that's only, uh, you know, restricted to Minx? That's something I'm going to ponder on. But hopefully you all enjoy this chapter. I enjoyed this chapter myself. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. So once again, as always, later, peoples!